Hello YouTube. Well, the weather's just been horrible, so we've got the ramps. Just the, the whole place is just waterlogged. So I'm walking around, make sure there's no like obvious flooding spots where they're going to be in the trails. So I'm going to build drainage and stuff if I do see any. And I think we just have a gen. I'm just going to have a general maintenance session in and around the jumps area what was the step up is it's not the best and it's a bit scary it's way like off camera and everything so i think i'm just gonna make that just normal double have it like that instead of a big step up with quite a large gap but yeah so we're gonna do that there i think i'm gonna build put like a roller in the middle of a line which is like the beginner line so that's what you'll see in today's video so okay. yeah so um, we're gonna start off by taking off a bit of this landing to make it more level with the thing because there's a lot of cases going on stuff so it's not very good we're gonna be doing that now so you'll probably see a time lapse of that. So yeah. So now that is just instantly a lot better for like the beginner people that come here. Because what we've done is we've made it too complex for people who just come here and they're like beginners and they don't really understand like how to pull up and stuff like just normal a normal double that's a lot more accessible for them so i think the step up was was good for like the more the better riders but now we've got this one it's just a normal double it's going to run a lot smoother and i think the line's going to be maybe better for it so yeah so now i'm going to move on i think i'm going to build a roller sure but depending on what i think of to do next that will be what you see so yeah okay so i've just started piling logs down to where i think that roller should be so i'm gonna start adding dirt and then it's go time i guess give it a little test run maybe i don't know it's pretty soggy so Riding in this weather ruins the jumps and stuff, so we might, might, I might be able to ride, but I'm not sure. So, add a few more logs, sticks, and stuff, and then that's it. Go time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about halfway finished on the roller and I'm going to, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Look, it, it's not working. It's, it's too steep on one side. And also, I don't know, I think I'll leave it for today and I'll let the comments decide whether we should go like i'll turn the camera around and then i'll show you so where it is now we've got this big tree here which is as you can probably see like massively wonky it goes off there and this roller looks tiny um we could go off up there and then roll down there so back through the trail thing or we could just make it a bigger roller here, where that is. But I don't know, it's up, it's up to you. Let the comments decide. And yeah, so that's, I'll turn the camera around again. And then, yeah. So as I just said, like we're gonna leave this 
as it is for now and we might have it going over the tree in the next video which would be really cool probably will be like maybe three or four weeks no two or three weeks before that video is released but it's up to you. you you guys decide what we should do and then well that's that's what we do there but we're gonna go where i'm gonna go and just um have a little walk around this place and show you what we've got at the minute so you can see so that'll be the next clip you see okay so the the tracks the whole thing we start up there and that's us rolling so we can gain speed and we go through here you can go off of there and then there's lines going and you see a jump there another jump behind it so there's that bam options or well, this is a line the one where i just built that roller and there's then now the double here which is the, like the beginning jump for A-Line and then we've got the roller remember comment that way or not and then we've got this little tiny jump which is as you should have asked for like I don't even think it's it's probably not even a foot gap so yeah and then we've got the big hole where we're digging all the dirt from and stuff so that looks tiny on the video but it's it's quite a lot bigger compared to that thing so then you sort of shoot up here and that's the end of that and then over here we've got the stream jump which only one person's road and yeah it's quite a big case you can still see a case mark there and it's, it's quite a big jump and <laughs> take some guts to ride that so we've got like the original jumps which have been here all the way along so this has been here for like two years we haven't really touched it and then over here we've got the world's smallest thing that's quite a big log yeah. But we've dug it into the ground and stuff, so that's just that. And from here, that used to be a berm, which is just gone now. We've got, I'm walking backwards on the line, so I'll record again when I'm on my way back. So As I said a minute ago, this way starts, and then this is B line and C line. We've done them like the alphabet, it's easy. The most depressed berm in the world and then we're gonna go that's b line and that's c line so b line was like what it still is like the biggest jump we've got the gap's not big but the air time you should just go and the man down there somewhere you see how the bomb hole well, just a massive hole where we get dirt. This is sea line, sort of right next to each other. So you just sort of take off there, and land as far as you can. Back onto B line again. We've got another berm, which is also really run, run down. A little tiny tabletop. So, but like, just a little tiny dip in the middle, and then. Yeah, that's the trails pretty much so yeah thank you for watching today's video hope you guys enjoyed remember to leave a comment and what you think we should do with the roller and then oh well i'll see you in the next one so